Hi guys, my name is Haley Blake. I am 19 years old and I'm a freshman at Penn State University and I am from Garnet Valley, PA. I am speaking for the Break the Scale event because I used to have a really toxic uh, relationship with the scale um, and the number that it represented and letting it define me and my life. Um, so my relationship with the scale started around eighth grade. Yeah, in eighth grade. Um, I got bullied really badly and people came at me anonymously and in person and every which way, social media, everything, um, and just calling me really harsh and cruel names. Um, and then I started believing them. It was things like, oh, if they think that I'm fat and ugly and gross, then that must be true. Um, so I started like telling myself that and like really like feeding that distorted mindset and um I had you know that automatic switch where I was like okay I'm just gonna go on a really you know strict diet cut a couple pounds and I'll feel good and then everyone will like me again and I'll be pretty um so I started weighing myself and became just obsessed with that number that I saw on the scale it was you know multiple times a day that I would run into my parents bathroom onto their scale and you know see the number and no matter what it was it was never it never satisfied me. I never felt like good about it. So I never had a goal in mind. I never, you know, did anything in a healthy way in terms of losing weight. Not that I even had to lose weight because I was a healthy, athletic uh, middle school girl and there was nothing wrong with me and no reason for me to have to lose weight. Um, but I felt like them calling me those names was basically them telling me, oh, just lose weight and then we'll like you. So I started like measuring my food really strictly, like to the point where I'd be measuring like carrots um, and celery. And it just got really obsessive and, you know, going to that scale. And, you know, after losing probably 30 plus pounds in the course of a couple months, I saw that number low 90s. I haven't seen 90s in years. And I looked at that and I was like, like, it's okay. <laughs> like, that's kind of cool, but, you know, I'm not good with it yet. And, like, the fact that I was telling myself, like, wow, that's awesome. Like, look at me go. Like, I'm making progress. Like, what kind of progress is that? It was just literally deteriorating my mind. And I just became very obsessed with it, and I let it define me and my life and my relationships and everything so I developed a really bad eating disorder through it and all that would constantly run through my mind is food and not eating and that number in the scale just sitting in the back of my brain and it was when I, I was told that I couldn't get my physical signed for cheerleading in high school um, going in ninth grade that it started to hit me like something I was so passionate about like my sport and something I've done all my life, like I'm not allowed to do because I've lost so much weight. And being, you know, in the hospital a couple times a week to see doctors for my weight and um, looking at an inpatient facility and having to, you know, face the possible reality of going there. It was just like a really hard thing to deal with. And it was all because I was letting those, you know, demons in my mind tell me that, you know, you're not good enough and no matter what that number is you'll never be good enough and keep restricting and maybe one day when you lose enough weight you know you'll finally feel good about yourself and the reality is that that's not true um you don't need to lose weight you're not defined by that number you're stepping on a little platform with a number that's showing up but what is that representing your morals no your strengths no um what you do for others or yourself or your community no and it's just like once I recovered from my eating disorder and <clears throat> like working through the depression that I was in. I mean, I still deal with, you know, mental health issues now and I have my bad days. But just being that low and remembering how I felt with just numbers in my brain all the time was just so tiring and exhausting to the point where I felt worthless in life. And it's just not how anyone should live or feel at all. So I want to tell you to screw the scale and cut off that toxic relationship because it's not worth it and it doesn't define you or any part about your life. So 
Um, if you would like to reach out to me, you can text me at 610-888-9963. Um, or you can follow my fitness account, hblake.fit. Um, I post a lot of fitness, weightlifting, um, mental health, suicide awareness stuff. And I would love if you not only follow me, but communicate with me. I love talking about this stuff. I could go on for hours um, talking about this and my recovery journey, but all I have to say is it's the best thing I've ever done for myself. And I am so proud of myself and I hope that you can do the same and screw the scale. Bye guys.